Here at the residence of the late Jovenel Moïse, an investigation is underway. FBI agents, coming to the aid of local police, leave with the computer in hand. For in Haiti, many questions still remain around the assassination of the country's former head of state and the revelations that have followed. According to the version of some mercenaries currently in custody, the operation would have been directed from the United States. Lo suministrado por los colombianos de, entre comillas, planear el arresto del presidente y eh, ponerlo a disposición, y esto es lo que dicen ellos, ese supuesto arresto de la DEA. Some of the mercenaries claim they were recruited to capture the president, not to assassinate him. The operation is meanwhile said to have been planned from the neighboring Dominican Republic. Tenemos tres ciudadanos colombianos que están siendo buscados en este momento, que habrían estado también en Haití y en República Dominicana. Se habrían reunido con una persona de nombre Emmanuel Sanón, que está capturado allá. Christian Emmanuel Sanon is believed to be the mastermind of the operation and the recruiter of the mercenaries. The American pastor of Haitian origin lives in Miami. He claims to be innocent. A former Haitian senator is also involved. John Joel Joseph is suspected of being the financier of the plot. Currently wanted, he was a staunch opponent of Jovenel Moïse. Investigators are also questioning the apparent ease with which the assailants managed to kill the Haitian head of state in the middle of the night. Four security officials have so far been placed in solitary confinement.